Richard, why are you carrying a plastic bag? A trash can. A trash bag. Trash bag. What happened? What happened? Well, did you I lose your uh, your pass to deliver to drop stuff in the in a bin? No, no, man. Oh. I, uh, I I uh, I was carrying out some research myself. Ooh. And, uh, my research, as you know, as you know, Smicklebard is one of the unofficial curators of Dutch post punk history. As yes, as and they're in good hands. It's in good hands. We've carried we've carried the tapes of Ultra Bounds. Yes. Through the streets of Amsterdam in a half full um, suitcase. And now they're into in a coma bag. And now they're back into the world of, of you know the, the wonderful world of the web. Part two of this curation. Yeah. And, which it, people might know I'm writing a book about uh, Dutch underground and post punk music. Mm -hmm. Is this? And I went to visit a very decent gentleman, Mr. Hans Byens, who works at Ars in uh, Leiden. Yes. Was once the, and that's an art thing. That's an art thing. It's yeah. not an art thing. It's uh, not. No. It's <laughs> Uh, but Hans was once the director of the Eindhoven, in, uh, the Ethanai in Eindhoven, get yeah. that Richard. Um, and he was the guy who was booking bands in the punk and post-punk period. Mm -hmm. And I had a very nice chat with him. Yeah. And Hans gave me things that are in this bag. And I suggest we go through these very slowly. All right. Are you ready for this? The, the, dun, dun, dun. Ooh, Ooh, a nice binder. A Verslag from oh, 1981. Smart. This is yeah. done in 1982. And in here you have the whole policy of the FNR. And a just seeing what's going on and, you know, over sick service, blah, 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 blah. Absolute mm -hmm. gold. But what we have here, if you look carefully, yeah. are the bands it played. So you have the tapes from Amsterdam playing with the Associates, Fad Gadget playing with Neon, mm -hmm. Bazooka, uh, Das Vesen from... Um, from Nijmegen, mm -hmm. the X playing with the workmates there, Perubu mm -hmm. with the Delta Five, mm -hmm. Joseph K, the famous uh, post. And we're back again. Yep, I'm just I'm just getting these out of the bag. What's this? Well, these look remar remarkably like posters to me, Marcel. Um, yeah, some, but you never know. You never know. Well, what do you know? These are the posters from the FNR in 1979, 1982, so, uh, Wayne County. Mm -hmm. Let's just go through them slowly, yeah? without even saying much about it. Incubus. They, they had a lot of theatre at the time, which is also really important to note. Yeah. This is actually the Festival of Fools, is Dumar before they were Dumar. And Trish, ah. Trish is one of the singers, Trish DeVote was one of the singers in the Festival of Fools. So they have uh, the famous. Uh, Four, five. Gilden. The five Gilden, yeah. We should check how many people went. <laughs> we could do. And you see, there's lots of film of that period, so Jim Jarmusch. He's, look at how beautiful these little film posters are. Mechanic, Commando. That's, there they are, an FNR poster from Mechanic, Commando. But look at the line, Tox Medal, Sev, the Yumahun. So that's a real, um, that's a real Ultras night. Yeah. That's with all the Ultra bands. UK subs. Leiden is cheap and nasty. <laughs> from Leiden. <laughs> cheap and nasty, believe it or not. And the four parole family for the UK subs. <laughs> so everything is about 1979, 1980. The passions, are oh, the passions. Again, you had lots of workshops, workshop of people. Stuff. Yeah, workshop stuff. Said, but look at all the designs, or how cut up and paste they all were. At the time. Yeah, nice. It's Remco Sklar who did all the designs, actually. Again, D-Day, Outholings over Dwarfs. That also D-Day used to be in the Paradiso as well. Mm -hmm. These are also little, little known Dutch bands at the time. Yeah. This yeah. is a night of William Burroughs, who played. And you know who his fourth row farmer was? Jules Dale William Burroughs and Jules Dale on the same stage. <laughs> Imagine that. Wow. So there you go. Hi, hon. <laughs> and uh, another FNR. There you see um, the raincoats, the famous The Raincoats. That's a rare poster. Who is it? She's got that. Undertones. The undertones of the FNR. How wonderful is that, eh? Undertones. Grupo Sportivo. Nice. May 30th. Beer by my car. Yeah. 2-0. Two 2-0, nil. Two nil. yeah. <laughs> now, Joe Jackson. This is a, not, not an M cost car. One they had to do this quickly, apparently. Mm -hmm. When things were exciting, they were able then to make uh, dusting, they were able to make colour in it. But you've just seen the normally black and white with a bit of red. Yeah. That's really it, you know? And here's another one of these film ones. They had lots of film at that time as well. Mm hmm. Anti Pasty. Oh, what a band. What incredible. Bullet is the shop of Carlos de Hilfter. That's a very famous, uh, very famous record shop in La in, uh, in Eindhoven at the time. Mm -hmm. Miranda's a Dutch, uh, Dutch punk band. Yeah. 
Per Ubu and Delta 5. Now, I know people in England will be killing for this poster. <laughs> now, these, these are quite interesting. Nice. These, these, these three hooker. Uh, uh, so, so, you see, Section 25, Crispy Ambulance, a factory night, factory band. So, Manchester Factory fa- bands. Manchester Factory band, is it? Not just bands, factory, factory bands. bands. Because factory is the, the, the label at the time. And you have film. See how, how closely the film posters at the time follow. Yeah. Yeah. They're very similar. They are, they're very much part of the whole Doom Denker angst today thing. Uh, yeah. Nice. Ideas, you know. And a, another D Day poster. This is uh, to, to you know help your local bands kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah. I think that's also. Who's that one? I can't see. Upstairs. Great Geysers. Forty yeah. years. Oh yeah. Oh no. This is interesting. This is all about. This is uh, about. Over the bombing in Amsterdam. Ooh, this is actually a day uh, uh, with the X play. It's mm-hmm. all about an Amsterdam squat program. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Incredible, isn't it? Yeah, with the X play and by the pop group. Nice. Oh. Hey, mm. Mr. Sergeant, it, it's, I've been given this. I'm so happy. <laughs> Echo and the Bunny Man. And that was been, uh, if that's right, that's 1981, so we're on the Heaven Up Here tour. Mm-hmm. That's an absolutely rare poster, is that? Oh, what year is this? This is this is uh, 1981. This is 1981. The, heaven okay. up here too, so the the record is a bit faster. Yeah. Up. Well. Ooh. Music poesy. WC feels. Uh. Joseph K. <laughs> postcard. This is one of the rare ones. Joseph K. Kids. <laughs> poison girls. Oh my God, the poison girls. Dex's Midnight Runners. It's this. Oh, and there you go. Huge. And there we are. I want to just say thank you, Hans Bynes, for um, helping further the cause of um, Dutch post punk music history, which will be written in the course of this year. Um, we are now sat in the Very Very Pub in Leiden, which yep. has its own post punk history, of course, named after the Social Security, mm-hmm. another side of the Doom Denkers. Uh, and I'm now available to put these back into the, uh, what is just a normal plastic bag. No, it's a trash bag. It's a trash bag. It's not even a normal no plastic, <laughs> plastic bag. bag. It's, it's a normal it's plastic trash bag. <laughs> and back into, back into history. <laughs> you go. So what are you going to do with it? I'm going to research all of this. I'm going to get it all digitized uh, yep. so we can get a proper record of it. We mm-hmm. might put some of this stuff up on Snickle Bars as a record. Okay. Um, because I think that's quite important to keep these things digitised. Yep. Um, so it could be, maybe we could actually do some, I'm going to have a word of hands to say if, if that's possible. If so, if we can release it as a digital release. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to use this information to um, talk about how um, Dutch Post Punk was, um, yeah, sort of very provincial movement, but also with a, a very big international reach. And how I'm talking alongside Nijmegen, Venlo, um, and maybe uh, things like uh, tiny little bits in Rotterdam and Groningen. Mm-hmm. It was actually nothing. It wasn't just Amsterdam. It was actually all over the country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the borderlands. Yeah. So that's uh, that's part of my uh, research. There it is. Are you happy? <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. Mm, that's nice. I'm overwhelmed. All right, Go then. Some, what's the words? Let's drink some beers. <laughs> 